What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. Make ready. So to run off up on last time we had yet another giant Siege of Zagreb and if this guy isn't a goddamn Siege Veteran or... Yep, Skilled Siege Defender, Bloody Corporal and Gold Blade, Gold Blade, Gold Braid, Good Defender and Steady Under Fire. Tristan Dalton keeps attacking this force whenever they come within range uh, but soon he'll be able to push up to begin offensive operations against Austria in their entirety. Yes. What we might take is Mr. Goodfellow. Oh, I've got to be careful because I'm at war with Saxony. If I drive up against this Polish army, might they attempt to... Might they use... Or might the Saxons get involved as reinforcements? Um, right now, Cologne is taken. By Mr. Wilson. Yep, Mr. Wilson indeed. Make ready no, don't leave. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can leave them. They're only on minus one. Yes, my lord. Let's move them up to provide a threat for the Saxons. Oh, I can probably move these gunners up to this infantry unit. Still trying to get rid of religious unrest in Venice. Gibraltar. Yep, you're one of the forces I want to catapult into into Britain. So that's two two armies and a third being recruited in Paris to attack Britain. And Britain is an ally, but I think we'll fall on them quite aggressively and we'll be able to sufficiently take them out. I want to take Britain, because taking Britain would be nice than to use them as a launch pad to attack the Russians. I mean, the Danes are going to be a tough nut to crack for once. At some point, we're going to have to hit, um, we're going to have to hit Stuttgart. But we'd like you, Mr. Amadeus Crisp, to reinforce your troops. Ready and awaiting um, actually, you might need to. No, you're going to replenish for now. Let's see if I can suck them into a river battle. I you know, don't think there's anything else that's realistically achievable. Florence, I might actually set you to research. Something a bit easier, like seed planting drills. And let's hit end turn. Oh yes, I'm also at war with the new Spaniards, aren't I? The little scamps. Not that I'm... I'm not as interested in that theatre for the moment. It's all about trying to fight the Poles. Oh, they're all crossing to the north side. If, if they get within range of Sheridan Goodfellow, not necessarily this turn, but the turn afterwards, that will be lovely. The Poles are moving a navy out, or a fleet out somewhere. Just auto that. Just, Victory is ours. just destroy them. Poland is sending spies to come and attack our. Which I steal our knowledge. Victory. Let's auto resolve that. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna have. Oh, I want. I really want to say yes, but I'm gonna have to say no because of my army's weakened state. Um, but I think I will force. I think well, if, I, if I don't do it, I think they'll just attack me anyway. No, I want. No, I want the replenishment. No, I, I need the replenishment. I need that breathing space. Oh, the Russians are moving down towards Athens. The Spaniards are on the march as well. Come on, Stuka. We are friends, you and I. The Barbary States are taking a land army. That never happens. Good. So now Sheridan's fully reinforced, so if they want to attack him across the river, they absolutely can. In the city. Mm. 
We're a ways away off building roads. Let's take this infantry and get it to Sheridan. This artillery, let's put it back to Venice. Let's take this spy, or rake. Let's try and assassinate the Polish general. And let's infiltrate Prague. Workers are on strike in the Rhineland, but now they're okay. Let's churn out a bit of line. Um, let's churn out a lot of line for this Paris army. Although is attacking Britain right now the smartest move? Because that's quite a big enemy to fight. As is Russia. We're already at war with a significant part of the continent. So I might actually have to knock knock these invasion plans on the head and actually get them get them involved. even sail them around to Georgia because they should be able to get there without being intercepted there's no enemy ships nearby what they do want to do is am I no I'm currently not building walls in Athens it would be good if I was Disembark, Mr. Hamilton. Men, forward. So now I can push this guy up. Let's raid the university to stop them from getting research. And they can keep replenishing. Mr. Whitefield, keep replenishing. Let's take. Let's upgrade some of these buildings. Let's, let's give Morocco some walls. Let's upgrade the church school, the farms, the mines, the weaver's cottage. Do you have good roads? Nope, you can have top roads. Not many places do have top roads by the looks of it. It's a big goodies. I keep one behind as a response army if something goes wrong. Like if these Barbary states decide to do something annoying. Who are they actually at war with? The United Provinces. If they sail around and attack <laughs> the Netherlands, that would be great. Hey, you, ready. Grenville, stay steady as she goes and reinforce. Think. Ready and waiting order. And these guys replenish. They're in a perfect position to attack Austria. Okay, let's hit end turn. Coming to ground, under cover. Still not really doing anything. Is yeah, I'm pretty much at war with the rest of continental Europe. So maybe stacking three armies up and declaring war on Britain isn't a good idea. At least not yet. Because this is, I'm still just fighting Poland. I've got to fight Russia as well at some point during all this. And we know how Russia gets. Oh, don't all pull back. Let's have a lovely, 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 lovely river battle. I mean... I think I've got to intercept now because otherwise they might just run around me. So let's do it. Let's use the let's provoke an attack on Munich. Run into northern Italy, where I've got eh, the army I've transported might be able to stop them, but I'd still have to redirect. It's just easier to do this now, and hopefully, without using 
the reinforcing army because I really want to fight a giant deadly river crossing battle with quicklime and shrapnel shot and you know all that lovely stuff let us let us take this opportunity to murder the Polish once more so I'm, I'm still just pretty psyched that they're actually doing stuff in this game because normally they're a bit they don't really do anything Take some elite infantry and fill out this flank. Take lots of elite infantry and fill out this flank. God damn, there's such such slight difference between deploying your troops four ranks deep and making it just three. Just put a cuirassier on each flank, ready to help out. Now it's a battery in the centre. General in amongst the trees. There we go. Everyone's open fire. Come on, lad, I see, see some cannibals dropping in. There they go. Killed one horse team. Sadly, no gun teams. Let's speed up time somewhat. It looks like there's just going to be a bit of towing and throwing. They're going after my cuirassiers. I mean, they're Polish. doing what you're doing. They've been, they've meandered their way into obscurity. See, they thought they thought they'd identified a weakness in my line. I suppose what this is partly because some load of my units are hidden, or at least some of them were. Who are you? You need marines. Okay. Let's get the howitzers to start firing with quick lime. Oh yes, drop a unit of, drop a big wad of. Ooh, okay, hold on. So the lancer got to charging again. Drop these guys to square again. So in comes the quick lime. Nice big bulk of marines dead. Oh, and some Eastern European mercenaries. Okay, let's take. This flank and pivot it. Let's put my cuirassiers to do something like that. The cavalry coming back, they formed wedge. Determined to make to do battle. Okay, here we go. I'm not hearing the. There we go. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Twenty-six foot guards are gone. Start going for general bodyguard. Charge my cavalry straight into the foot guards. Yeah! 
go for the conscripts artillery. You know they're coming straight for you. I'm going to go my cuirassiers. Fortunately, they've got a nice chunk of, guard, of, of um, engineers to actually shoot at. If they decide to shoot at them. Good stuff. Oh, the 19th is going to try to stand their ground. There's a broken ranks, but too close for quick line. Just keep chopping through the guardsmen. These guys should be eviscerating their troops. Well, they are. The marines are down to half strength. Okay, let's go to my other. Uh, the air team, it's not really doing anything. Let's run them around and let's go after their artillery. Yeah, they are going to go around these, this huge wall of spikes. Okay, so what I can do is take these guys up on the ridge because these guys would be enough to take out the marines. For a second, I thought that was my guys that were unhappy. Well, unhappy might be a bit of an understatement. Poor Grenadier Guards. Came too close. Okay, switch my house just a round shot and set them to attack. Too bad they've not got their muskets ready. Those grenade guards look like a lovely target. These guys are square just in case the general fancies attacking anywhere. Let's get my material to ground shot. Getting some pot shots of their general, but he's going to rout. After the Marines, absolutely continue. Come on, kill the the last engineer. Good. Chase down. Let's turn off all our artillery. Go on, General. Chase him down. Should look at my cavalry to chase down these fusiliers. Usual, there's some kind of shenanigans at play. Just keep cycling through the cavalry, keep making them attack. Yeah, 
they seem content to just almost like just take the average. Like when they split into two, they seem content. Like very rarely, I mean they do it now, but very rarely do your guys actually split into two groups to try chase them down. So these guys may end up routing. Well, I mean they're getting chopped up quite nicely, but this is it. It's, this is... So these guys are going to continue to try chase down those groups normally, whereas I want to use these guys to try and kill... Yeah, they made it down the far end of the line. Still, it was a nice victory, a nice eradication of a Polish army for very low losses on our side. Ah, oh, they've got around the flank. Come on, get the range. So one to get around the flank towards the back of Munich. Here comes that Russian army, which we're going to put down quite aggressively. Also, the Russians might actually try and attack Zagreb, which would be a turn up for the books. <laughs> New Spain, desperately trying to get a get their gentlemen up to my school to try and steal my precious bodily fluids. Denmark's not got a shot. George is a troublemaker. I want to see this Barbary States army attack the... Uh... What are you doing? There is a port in this region that hey, is you've got much a yet developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Yep. Upgrade you. So I've got a feeling we're going to have to start churning out lots more troops. So let's get my economic development booming. I mean, Portugal's got a church school, a college of divinity, so just keep going with the with the economy. Have you got good roads? Now you do. Got Spain? Now you do. So much stuff to spend money on. Set the government. You're pretty good. Okay, let's wait for a steam dry dock. How can I help? Let's try and hmm, the army you were gonna try and infiltrate is gone. Let's knock this down. Stop them from getting any benefit from raiding it. Yes, my lord. You guys were supposed to be replenishing, but you stopped yes, for whatever sir. reason. Tristan Dalton. Yes, my lord. Keep replenishing. Let's take Andrew Hamilton. Let's get on the offensive. Oh, that's just a Victory fragment. Make ready. March. I mean, are you the same? Lots of cavalry. To be honest, I'm intrigued to see what the Russians are going to do. So, Well, I say I'm intrigued in what the Russians are going to do. I know exactly what they're going to do. 13 colonies in the United Provinces. They've broke their alliance with me. So that's immediately made me suspicious of you. Which so, Simon Weston is going to stand guard and wait see what you intend as will this force okay water mill has been down got dry docks and commercial docks everything's been going well um hmm
Yeah, they're going to come and attack me, which is absolutely fair enough. I should have been better at building walls. But I think this army might end up pushing down and trying to take Sarajevo. But I really do need to start thinning out some of these guys. I don't want to move them off the bridge because that's a perfect opportunity for a lovely bridge battle. But they might get in trouble if they're caught on both sides. I'm going to suspect this guy will get close enough to attack. I can intercept them at the city. At least that's my suspicion. So let's hit end turn. Taking cover. It'd be real nice if Britain got involved in any, any my, in, got involved in any of my wars, though. Just a sec, guys. Nope. Let's clear my throat for a second. Yeah, I'm trying to steal my technology, all right. Um, hmm. Do I intercept them? I mean, I think the answer is yes. But, although, although this episode isn't uh, over the timer, we know how long these battles go on, so I'm definitely going to... Um, Cut this one cheekily a bit short, just so the next episode we can fight this massive battle once again around Zagreb. Don't worry guys, I'm getting as fed up of fighting here as you guys are watching me. <laughs> but at least the Russians are involved, so now it's a bit different. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the slaughter of Polish and Russian blood outside Zagreb. Cheers everyone.